us. <laughs> the dad denied the fight. It's like, bro. Like, He's allowing his insecurities to not allow him to see what his dad's actually trying to tell him right now. Now this is some bull. Can you read that shit again? Oh, this nigga oh, passed out. Damn. Like, this is this nigga wild. Oh, uh, nah, he's bugging out, bro. What's wrong with your boy, yo? Man, he needs some wow. food, bro. Meow is crazy, bro. Man, I don't know what they were thinking coming over here. What's good, yo? We back, RTTV. Gang, 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 gang. And if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill, murder, and smash that subscribe button. And we are back with Hajime no Ippo. Ippo has won his first match since he's uh, been crowned the rookie champion. Yep. He beats the fifth ranked person, Okita. And Okita. Date, the champion right now, mm -hmm. he says he's not going to take on the world yet. He has unfinished business and he stares him down. It's lit right now. It is. Yeah. Real shit. We'll, yeah. Will we be fighting? You think we're going to be fighting him next? Nah, I'm not. Nah, no. Mm -mm. No. Impossible. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm not going to say yeah. impossible, but it's not. Happening. I think there's, I think words going to go around that he just got to number five and there's going to be more challenges. It's going to come out the woodwork. Like, oh, so he's number five. Yeah. Creepo, no, Creepo number five right now. Nah, I need all the smoke. He boy ain't put me to sleep, though. <laughs> Let's find out, guys. Um, If you want to watch ahead on our two... Totally yeah, yeah. If you want to watch ahead on our Hajime no Ippo episodes, man, we are two weeks ahead right now on Patreon. <laughs> and you can catch the full uncut reactions there as well. And make sure you drop a like for us, man. Um, if this video gets... We're, we're planning to do these things where if you reach our like goal, guys, you check the, the pinned comment down below for the like goal. This like goal is 1.5k likes, guys. If it reaches that like goal, we'll just drop the next episode for you just guys, like all right? Just like that. Come on. So yep. make sure you guys click that like button for us. Give me some more. And uh, let's get into episode 39, Challenge in a Foreign Land. Oh, is oh. this Miata or Takamura? Am I, I hope this is a whole Miata episode. That'd be kind of cool. Put respect on that nigga. Ah, look at that. It's Miata. Boo. He, he, he let it get to the decision. Imagine Miata loses. Oh, what? see, they Boo. doing him dirty. Oh. They, they did him dirty. Rock Lee Miata. That's what we're going to call him. Nah, this is some bullshit. <laughs> Read that shit again. <laughs> Oh yeah, they, they played them. Two knockdowns and not a single point. The fuck am I doing this for? You should have never left the gym, nigga. Imagine you sparring every day with Ipo. <laughs> You'd be nasty, bro. This nigga wanted to go to another gym, bro. And now you're in another country. Tying and shit. <laughs> Tying and shit. <laughs> when you should be winning. Yeah. I feel like as a father, this was concerned. He's like, damn, yo. This nigga can't even be a kid the way he is. Oh, wow. He's 10. He's 10 and 0. Oh, that's lit. That's just showing us Muay Thai. Oh, okay, I'm about to say. The Thailand is big on Muay Thai. That's yeah, why happy. They're like, I don't know. He's not even from here. Hmm? Oh, that's the dad denied the fight. Oh, 
Yeah. Don't make your son run away from a challenge. Nah, this nigga a little. This nigga is crazy. Yeah, nigga. I'm like, this nigga, <laughs> like, you're not ready for him, bro. I feel his father, though. It's like, yo, bro, you're ready to struggle. You're ready struggling dieting as we speak. It's not his father, his trainer. Nigga. His trainer, yeah, that's his yeah. trainer. He said something like your trainer. All right, nigga, you want to hear the truth? You are, you're not ready to. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna work, bro. He said, "Yo, I feel like if it wasn't his father, he wouldn't listen to him, bro. That's why I don't think I don't like. It. That he don't listen to his dad because it's his dad." Yeah, nigga used to taking kicks and all that other shit, <laughs> nigga. Kicks and elbows to the face and <laughs> It's like, bro. Like, He's allowing his insecurities to not allow him to see what his dad's actually trying to tell him right now. That nigga's too insecure because of Epo and he's falling behind, quote unquote. That he's like, listen, like, I get trained. I can't even tell you you're not ready for a fight without you. Yeah, that's like, kind of crazy. That's mad weird. Bro. What am I here for, my guy? Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm like, my nigga, why train him? Like, no, you can't fight him. I'm gonna fight him, and then you get hurt. Like, what the fuck, like? <laughs> Wait, ain't that the dude that was talking earlier? I thought that's a nigga that. I thought that's a nigga he's fighting, he right? Fight. Oh, that's a Florida nah, nigga. that's the dude he was talking to. Oh, okay, to okay. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. Quack, little bitch ass. Mm. That's the motivation you need right there. <laughs> Come on, yo. He's knocking Jimmy out, nigga. <laughs> what? So, they gave him a cuss screen, bro. Yeah, what's my Miyada no Ipo, nigga? nigga stop yeah, playing. Yeah, no Ipo. That nigga definitely needs to do, bro. Nigga. Like Rob, he's on your time, bro. Deep in the sauna with a hoodie on. <laughs> he better be, nigga. <laughs> oh, this nigga oh, passed out. Damn, this nigga this nigga wild, bro. <laughs> oh nah, he's bugging out, bro. I like, that's I told dangerous. y'all niggas. He's to me, he's a psycho. Like he's tapped, brother. Mm -hmm. here. It's like if Pat was trying to be 120. Yeah. 140. Yeah, it's 160. Yeah, I wonder why boxers would prefer staying light than getting a little heavier. You know what I'm saying? What you mean? Because you don't have to deal with the light. Nah, it hits. It hits, yeah. There's less damage on your body. Yeah, bro. What you mean? I'd rather like, get hit by Mayweather than freaking uh, Mayweather. But like 10, 10 pounds, though? You know what I'm saying? It's like, a difference. 10, 15 pounds. It's a difference. It's a big like, difference, bro. But nah, I don't like, think like, you know. 126 pounds to 140 is a difference. You know that shit just happened recently. I'm trying to remember the fighter. Yeah, lighter somebody, boxes somebody don't get knocked out as much. Somebody just went up in, um, um, in, in weight class because they was beating everybody in their class. And that nigga lost. That nigga, um. So we just watched recently. That nigga, the one that fought uh, uh, Mayweather and he fought uh, Was nigga, it Canelo? Canelo, yeah. Canelo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Canelo. Canelo went up and wait and then got rocked. Nah, touched. <laughs> <laughs> then ain't no little kid gonna motivate you to beat a nigga. Like, I don't know how that happens. Like, how that translates into you being a nigga. That dieting, bro. He's worse than ever today. Nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nigga, it's crazy, nigga. Nigga, you ain't. Like, eat something, bro. What's wrong with your boy, yo? He needs some wow. food, bro. He needs some milk.
Oh, but when it comes oh, to his wow, dad, nigga, yo, his dad can see his son in no crazy. Yo, that dad is tapped, my nigga. And I got think no he control likes his, of his son. I think he likes his son, nigga. Our gang, nigga. That nigga wants his son to die, nigga. That nigga's over there like, yo, what the fuck mm -hmm. is wrong with my body right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this a match? Yeah, he's gonna lose, bro. This is crazy. The build up to this match. Yeah, why are you saying this, bro? Yeah, what's good with this yo, sticker? this train is a hilarious <laughs> nigga. This is the worst squad of things I've ever seen in my life, nigga. Like, this nigga, yo. This nigga's like, yo, I'm surprised like, you made way. Yo, the other nigga you fight, that nigga look a tip top mm -hmm. shape, my nigga. That's basically what we saying to him, like. <laughs> Bro, this is a 10 round fight. They have those over there? Nigga, he pulls only. Wasn't he only fighting four like four rounds, round yeah. fights? Like, what the fuck? That's kind of wild. Yeah. Miata's crazy, bro. They, I don't know what they were thinking coming over here. He's probably going to win this shit, but. Nah, he's definitely going to win because Shout he's going in as an underdog. He's humbling himself. Nah, you know why? He's, he just found out he's an underdog. That's why he's going to win. <laughs> Which is wild to me. <laughs> That's wild to be <laughs> this whole time. That nigga's like, yo, I've been a prodigy, my nigga. Like, what's wrong? That's it, nigga. I'm actually the nigga that's the underdog. Mm -hmm. It kind of relieves some some pressure on him because you're always going into fights as the the genius. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You were expected to win. Now that you're expected to to lose, it's kind of like I'm not that genius anymore. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I have a lot more to prove, and I think it puts more weight under like making sure that this counter punch works yeah but it's like they've been they've been there for two months right and in the two months that they've been there he has not won a single match he has tied for the most part i don't know if he lost any they didn't put any emphasis on it my thing is like if you haven't won a single match there has to be something in the back of your mind that's like all right maybe i'm not that guy anymore I obviously came here for the reason and even for the reason that why he came here he's like i came here because i'm not that guy anymore i came here because i lost in the rookie tournament i came here to get better so the fact that he's just figuring out now hey i'm not that guy is kind of crazy to me no i think um i think i get like the last part made me understand um this scenario way more because i feel like he's always i feel like he had it together before he put um got into boxing and he pulls come up story he's always like yo how is he getting better like this how is he improving like he just got in like how's he thinking and i feel like right now this was the first time he was like wait oh shit i'm in the same scenario this nigga was the mm -hmm. type of fighter that i turned him into and stuff bet like this is me finally finding that style of fighting under pressure being the underdog and stuff so i feel like he was losing himself and i feel like now he's like, yo, this is the way I want to come. I want to understand how he got as good as he got. So I think with him seeing like, yo, but he pulls in the scenario, I'm like, wait, this is exactly where I want to be. I want to know how it feels to be him and fight his way so that I could be as good or better than him. Mm -hmm. That's why this, everybody in Thailand was like, yo, this nigga Miata's not hungry. They didn't see the hunger in him because he hasn't had that ambition of like going against the odds, trying to get better and stuff like that. He was still, in the skin of like, I should be great because everybody told me I'm great already and shit. I'm the prodigy, nigga. So that's why he was acting mad stubborn, like a child that's always been told like, no, you're the golden child. You're, good. you're already good, my nigga. Nah, bro, he's not already good. He had to figure it out. So I think that was exactly what he was saying is like, now it's like, okay, I understand that I gotta earn my respect. Mm -hmm. Cause over here, I'm not that guy right now. I'm the outsider and shit like that. That's infiltrating a whole new land. Yo, you guys did an amazing breakdown right there, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. I, I fully agree with that. Humble and now, now he can really see that, you know, he has a lot more to grow into, just like Epo, and maybe now his boxing career is looking like it's, it's starting almost. Epo's you know? gonna fight this nigga again, mm -hmm. bro. We're about to see, about to see his Rock comeback. Lee. Yeah, I was hoping that they wasn't gonna turn him into Rockley, but it was looked like it looked like that that was the direction that they were going towards. 
I'm telling you, they put too much highlight on this nigga too early in the, the series to just toss him to the side like a chassis. So did so but we knew, but did, we knew he, this was gonna happen. We knew he was gonna take his dubs overseas. Yeah, yeah we said it the yeah. episode before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even though he hasn't taken any dubs yet overseas, he's gonna take this dub right here. He's gonna use that new punch. Technically, he he won the other one, bro. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he did win he that. Exactly. He did down win twice and didn't get touched the whole fight, bro. Yeah, they, they considered a draw. That's bullshit. Hell oh, yeah, niggas is like, yo, bro, I'll go fuck. How many times he knocked him down? I got ten thousand dollars that he was losing. I think that nigga. gets in his head. That definitely gets in his head a little bit more too. That you come here, you clearly win, you do your thing, and then they say it's a draw. That's why he says in this match that's coming up, he has to win by knockout Mm. because I can't let it go to decision because it's going to end up the same way. So that's why he needs that punch that or knock a nigga out. And I think this is the one, man. Might be it, B. Yeah. We'll see, guys. Let's Miata. Are you that nigga? Are you that guy, bro? (laughs) Are you Rock Lee? Are Are you him? Are you him? Are you him? So if it's your first time here, it definitely won't be your last. Make sure you kill murder and smash that subscribe button. It's your boy Wells, the Anime King. Pasha God T. It's the man, the myth, the maniac. Wilkins underscore RT. It's your boy Ops the RT. And that settles it at the, the round, round table. table. Where's Beast Boy? Doing his underpants dance in front of the fourth wall. Yo, creeps. Wanna be creepy? Creep on this. Whoa. Like a creeper. He bounced that shit back. Get away from there, beast boy. No one wants to see that. Ew. Y'all niggas gonna let that go too, yeah. Get your minds out the gutter.